Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again. We have Nevernamed with us here once yes. again. And he's convinced me to play sheep. <laughs> yes. I don't know what sheep does. Enemies don't engage fire until you do. What? Sounds like they won't attack until you fire the first shot. Hold to charge. Hold to charge what? Um, I think charge the sheep. Like as in, as oh, in like charge, literally run at them. Oh my god, okay. I mean, okay. Based on that image, it looks like the sheep is running. So let's give know, it a maybe. go. Let's give it a go. Well, we didn't. I'm we didn't actually... I've, I've never seen this before. Okay. Yeah. This, oh this, this, this guy doesn't even start with weapons. So. This is beautiful. The sheep has a grenade launcher. <laughs> oh yes. This is this is exactly what it's like in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> you know they say there's you like, like build up charge. Okay, this is pretty fun. You like build up charge this fella. This is pretty cool. Oh god, it's a ballistic missile. Ballistic. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, it's been a little bit because uh, we are both fucking useless. <laughs> yep. Completely indisposed at all the wrong times. Mainly because Nevername um, decided it'd be no, a good idea to send not, his computer not, into techies. Not mainly, not mainly, even Holy. when I have time, even when I have time, it's still like hard to convince you. We could have done so much this weekend, but you're like, oh, I don't know, though. I got to go see if Marjorie's free. I've got a bridge game on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can't charge into the scorpions, we've learned that. Whoa, what's going on with the scorpion? Sounds around like crazy. He's having a good time, don't judge him. He just walks weird. Um... But yeah, my computer is terminally ill, and it's in the late stages of the disease. Uh, whereas Turtle's computer is plagued by software issues, mine is perpetually plagued by hardware issues. Yeah, you may have noticed the pink at the very start of this uh, recording in the uh, intro. I don't know what was going on with that. Yeah, I said when we booted up the game, oh, Daddy sees a missing texture. Indeed. I don't know why I called myself Daddy. That's just habit. It's um, habit, is it? Yeah, don't question it. Um, so, my computer, the fan broke first, and I sent it away. The fan was replaced. When I got it back, the fans were working, but they hadn't put thermal paste on the thing, and the charging port was still not working. In the <laughs> And then I set it away again, and they fixed the charging port, which sounds simple, but they actually, it connects directly to the motherboard, so they had to completely replace the motherboard. And then, I get it back after that, and uh-oh, they fucked the keyboard backlights. So I'm gonna have to send it away for a third time to get the keyboard backlighting fixed. You dum dum. It doesn't look like you're immune to projectiles when dashing only to contact damage so yeah be careful gotta be very careful but i'm having a good time dashing around yeah i mean this is just a fun like turn your it's kind of like tainted maggie and it sort of turn your brain off and just yeah. run into everything sort of way it kind of is i like it it's fun it's a cool character um yeah this is exactly what sheep are like for anyone who doesn't <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know sheep, and I don't know why that's a big qualifier, but yeah, this is what sheep are like. They sort of fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Yeah, I was a little worried about that explosion there, but it seemed to work out. The daring young ram on the flying trapeze. Uh... Oh, entered another area by accident. Alright then. Where the fuck? I'm in the inverted place. Oh, right. For some reason, I thought you were like, I don't know, in a tide pool. I thought there were like clams on the wall. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty pissed, and I've I've had a weekend to do some bug fixes for my Gungeon mod, and port it to Beppin, the new mod loader. But oh, uh, it's not working on Turtle's machine for some ungodly for fucking me. reason. Hazard. So instead, to... we play Nuclear Throne, which got another update, by the way. Yeah. This is update 29 now. I'm um, about to fucking, like, inject glow stick fluid into my veins. 
Please do. It'd be funny. You'll glow. Have you seen that image, though? I have. <laughs> yeah. I think I was dead. And I think, I think probably dead. Yeah. Ooh, I am bomb. I'll play that. Just, just speaking from general, like, experience, that cannot be a good way to live your life. No. I think any... If, there's so many people that just think injecting random things into their body is going to be good. And you yeah. know the guy uh, a few years ago? This was, like, pre-pandemic. Uh, some guy injected uh, semen into his muscles intravenously. Nice. That seems like a really smart idea. Can't see how that would go wrong. I don't actually know what intravenous means. Like, do you no know what idea. intravenous means? I have no idea. Because I just hear people no. say, an intravenous injection, and I assume, well, it's an injection-related term. That's, yeah, that, that's all we know. It's just an but injection. But I don't actually know what it means, and it's occurring to me now that I might have used it incorrectly, and I'm going to look like an idiot. Are there any other terms that, like... There's quite okay, a lot no, of them, so... isn't there? Where, like, it's a so term also... that you actually, like, don't know at all, but <laughs> you use quite a lot. <laughs> Oh, well, like, not use a lot, but like you've used before, and you don't specifically know exactly what it means. Okay, I did die there. Okay, sheep's kind of a weird one. I think I should maybe not use the battering ram effect quite as much as I currently am. Yeah, it's so it, useful, it wasn't. But... It wasn't intravenous. It was extravenous, which is because uh, most injections are. I looked it up. Most injections are intravenous because they inject it into a vein. Okay, okay. Extravenous, extravenous means outside of a vein. And this guy, yeah, he wasn't injecting uh, cum into his blood, he was injecting it straight into the muscle. Oh, goddamn. Yeah. And what uh, did he, he thought this it would make him, him? He thought it would make him stronger. How? I don't fucking know. Like, when you're injecting, are. when you're injecting cum into your body, like, at a certain <laughs> level, what do you think's gonna happen? Okay, this 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 conversation has really derailed, and we've been recording just about five minutes. I don't, yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, like this is family you're friendly content. Questioning, the, the man injected jizz into his muscles, and you're asking the, the like, well, why? Why did he do this? What does this say about his relationship with his father? <laughs> it's like, no, I think the guy's just a fucking wacko. Very much a wacko. <laughs> this is the only way that could happen. Um, but yeah, like they had to, they like had to cut him open because it had formed bubbles oh, in his God. arm, and they had to like drain the jizz out of his muscles. Oh, stop! This has what? really gotten out of hand. Is this, this conversation. Th does this upset you? It does. does this image? Speaking of, actually, I had to explain to someone, like, what, like, where. <laughs> this is one of those things. Like, I sometimes have to explain to people. One person in particular, who is American, I say that for any particular reason, uh, but I sometimes have to explain to them the most basic shit, and it's <laughs> concerning. As, like, just this morning, um, I was explaining, like, something that had been, uh, rotting and had a mushroom growing on it, and they asked, oh my god, is that where mushrooms come from? I like eating mushrooms, I don't want to think about this. Oh no. It's like... Buddy, do you... Do you know what rot is? Do you know Do you know about decomposition? Have you heard of a food chain? <laughs> if I was to say I think I know who this person was, would you agree with me? Maybe. Yeah, okay. I think I already know. Yes, it's um... It is concerning. This is that, the same person who, who a few months ago asked me, uh, like, how do boats move without wheels? <laughs> they, I'm not entirely sure where that... They swear they have no... They, That's so fucking stupid. I, they swear they have no recollection of this event, but it absolutely happened, and I will never let them live it down. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh my god. Was this person educated at any level? Uh, American school. So no. <laughs> you could have just said no. Yeah, I, I, I guess not, yeah. I mean... 
I, it comes down to the value of American education. I have no idea, like, I, I'm guessing some states do have good education, but a lot of states don't, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Florida is not a state known for its intellectual capabilities. Oh god, they're from Florida? They're already doomed. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I had to explain to them that, you know how uh, trees, like pl plants and fungus, uh, get nutrients from the soil? Uh-huh. Did you ever stop to question why there might be nutrients in the soil? <laughs> because things have been shitting and dying in the soil. Um, okay, no. But yeah, that's... I, s I swear, this... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I worry. I worry sometimes. You very much should. What? <laughs> How does a boat move without fucking wheels? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. That's hilarious. Gee, that's a good segue. What is the stupidest question you've ever been asked? Oh, that's... I, I don't... I don't know. Um... Oh, that's, oh, a, um, that's a future... Uh... Okay, no, I, I know. Um, this was... To be fair, this was by my six-year-old sister at the time. She's six. So still... Still, like... She was young enough to be asking dumb questions, but I still think this was way too dumb for a six-year-old. She wasn't. She, she wasn't twenty years old. No. She asked, "What meat does chicken come from?" <laughs> oh, but it doesn't. Start, it's not, it doesn't count if it comes from a kid. Come on, that's a softball answer. It it's still dumb shit because it was they still don't. the dumbest one I've heard. Okay. So let me put it like this: a kid saying dumb shit. It doesn't really count because they're expected to not know things. Yeah, but at six, you should... You should... <laughs> it's more impactful when it's an adult. I mean, my cousin, which is... I hate how some people will do this, and I I realise I've just admitted to doing this earlier. I hate how people will... You'll do something as a kid, and then your older relatives will never let you forget it. Yeah. For the rest of your days. And I only <laughs> know, because I have a cousin who is significantly older than me. I think she's like 27. But... She, and she was a little kid, and I only know about this because my parents kept drumming this into me. They would tell the story so much. Uh, she, at one point when she was a, t a little kid, she was like, I don't want to eat eggs that come from a chicken. I only want to eat eggs that come from a supermarket. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's fucking idiotic. But again, they were a child. They're allowed to be idiotic, yeah. Yeah, like, at a point you're allowed... There's a there's a line. Just don't cross the bloody line. And we'll be fine. If you cross the line, I'll fucking strangle you. <laughs> oh my god. Better charge, more charge damage, more charge control, faster charge. Yeah, that's like that. Why not? That sounds like a pretty good mutation for this character. It do. Frost is incredible. Let's go with Frost. <clears throat> but yeah, uh... Very so hard to on. think Don't of those. Don't softball me. What's the, what's the dumbest it's, it's question you've been asked by say, an It's adult. very, very hard to think of that. By an adult. By someone who should know. know better. There's got to be... I mean, I've got to have quite a few examples, but I can't think of any good ones off the top of my head. Oh, um... This wasn't really a question. It was more of a statement that my girlfriend said the other day. Um... She, uh, like, because it's been so hot recently, I've been having a lot of ice in my in my drinks. And um, I put ice in my water, and she said, don't you, like, don't put too much ice in. You don't want to dilute it. I don't want to calling dilute your girlfriend the water a, uh, Calling your water. girlfriend a dumb bimbo on the internet? Yeah, it's a good way to have a healthy, a healthy relationship. She knows that I've told her a, a dumb bimbo about it many a time, because it was... She's a smart person, and it was stupid. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the that's the sort of thing people who should know better, but still say the most stupid shit. And I know that I've said some dumb shit as well. So but yeah, I've don't never dilute asked how a boat this moves. water with water. Hmm. Yeah, but I've never asked how a boat moves. That is just like w when they asked me that question, I I could not fathom that they meant. Like, I gave them the benefit of the doubt and assumed they meant, like, on land. And so I explained the concept of a boat trailer to them. Yeah. yeah. And they and they just sort of went, in the water? Oh, gosh. <sighs> yeah. Um, God. 
People are the darndest things. That is, yeah, See, that is I... a specialist example. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I have been... Like, I don't know, I don't like making other people feel, like, feel stupid. But, like... At a certain point, I think it's okay to make someone feel stupid if the thing they've said is one of the stupidest things you've ever heard. Damn it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> an anticlimactic death sound for the sheep. The sheep was just like, mm, bye bye. What was that? It just came out of the skull. Oh, I said the inversion magnet. It makes them inverted for sure from often. Uh huh. Pretty useful. And, and you want and you want this why? Because the inverted flaws have usually more rads on them, but also they have a weapon mutation on them, like a um one of the weapon upgrades. Sick. Fuck it, sick dude. Indeed. So yeah, they're a bit harder, but they do have more rewards. Eh, no, no, no. Oh yeah, you got it. Yes. <sighs> Goes rage. But I really want to get you to play a horror game sometime. You'll have a very. I know hard you time never will. I know you never will because you're a fucking bitch. I don't enjoy horror like, in any way, shape, or form. That's the point. It, you're supposed yeah, to be. I don't spooked. want to play something that I don't enjoy. What's the point in that? Well, like it's exhilarating. Like, it's not. In, it's just why, not why fun. Why do you think people skydive? Why do you think people skydive? Because that's fun. It's controlled like, and like, I, I don't know. Freddy, I, I... Freddy Fuzz. Are you implying that there is risk involved in playing a horror game? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm sorry. Not. Are you impl are you implying that there is a risk to your life <laughs> if you boot up Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? Yes, there is. To my life, there is. I don't know. I just. Uh, yeah, it's just. Frankie seem... Fuzzbear. Frankie Fuzzbear mur murders Turnbull Melon. Doesn't seem like my the, idea of the music. Anyway. Well, it's it's sort of meant to be like I don't know. There, there's something. There's something about like being spooked with other people that's that's fun. I get. I, I do get that horror games and horror films are more fun when you're watching with other people. Still. At least I've got to try and drag you into a, a bad horror game at some point. I think the... Like, the I, I've, I've played three or four horror games. I've played Amnesia. Uh, oh god, I'm dying a lot right now. I've played Amnesia. I've played uh, Outlast. Um, what's the other one? I played, there's one more that i played, but I can't remember the name of it now. It's in my Steam library, I think. And what did you think? They were alright. I didn't really finish Amnesia because I got kind of bored of it. Um, and Outlast was was pretty good. It wasn't very scary, really. I think a lot of people would, like, bully you for that assessment, but go on. For which one? For both. Yeah, I gotta say, like, Outlast was, was kind of fun. Like, it was, like, scary to start with, but then once you knew how it did its horror, it, it was all the same. It kind of lost its it kind of lost its touch because all it was kind of the amnesia is very much the same as well actually, like you kind of get the horror pretty early on and it stops being scary. I've been, I've been reading um, cosmic horror. Oh for God's sake! Uh, I have a, again. I got a book of Lovecraft stories out of the library a while ago and I've been just making my way through it. Um, I I just want to say. I do not get why the Call of Cthulhu is so fucking, like, hyped up. It's not very good. Cool. He's in the Call of Cthulhu. He is dis he is, like, the writer describes him and insists, no, guys, he's cool. But he just doesn't come across as very cool or really very dangerous in the story. I don't know. I don't really know the story, to be honest, so... But... The Call of Cthulhu is... For one, it's really short. 
I knew that Lovecraft wrote short stories, but with how much The Call of Cthulhu was hyped up, I expected it to be significantly longer than it was. Yeah. Um, and two, none of the events of, like, creepy shit happening actually happened to the main character. What do you mean? The entire, the entire book is written from the perspective of the main character reading other people's accounts of weird shit happening to them. Oh. Weird. So there's never a sense of danger. It, it's sort of a typical, my uncle died under mysterious circumstances and he left me his notes and it turns out my uncle was researching weird shit. Yeah. Shit's fucked. Uh, but it's like the only threat to the main character is he gains like a phobia of the sea and he's a, he he like assumes that the Cthulhu cult is going to try and kill him because his uncle died under mysterious circumstances which automatically means he was murdered by the Cthulhu cult mm. for knowing too much uh, which is just an assumption on the main character's behalf it's never like actually proven that there were any suspicious circumstances involved in the uncle's death and he doesn't even look into it. Uh, he's just he's like, well, takes it as that, was, value. that was that was pretty sus. So the Cthulhu cult definitely did it. And like, I don't know. It it's just that there, there wasn't really any feeling of danger. Yeah, I can get that. And a lot of it is him going over people who had really weird dreams <laughs> about a really weird city and a place and a, and a word called Cthulhu which is ominous but it would hit harder if it was in a book that was good <laughs> um I, I'm okay I'm I'm being a bit hyperbolic the call of Cthulhu is it's, fine. De it's decent but compared to his other stuff yeah it is it is it's not great, it's not shit, it's fine. It does not, however, deserve the amount of hype that people give it. Which one do you think does deserve the hype? Well, the one I just finished, The Whisperer in Darkness, was really fucking good. What's that one? Um, I, I, I want to finish explaining The Call of Cthulhu first, yeah, that's but fine. I'll get to it. So... The last set of notes he looks over are like a soul, uh, not a soldier, a sailor's memoirs before he died. Yeah. And the sailor says, was like the last survivor. He went out on a ship and he was the only one to come back found floating at sea with none of the other crew on board. And he died with his secrets. He wouldn't tell a soul what happened out on those waters. But, uh, the main character tracks down his widow and gets some papers from her that were his, like, recounting of what happened, and they stumbled across a strange island out at sea. Uh, one thing I do like is I love how the city of... Uh, fuck it. I, I, I've heard it pronounced Rulie? Or Raile? I don't even know the water city. Uh, Lovecraft's work is surprisingly, like, civilized. Like, the, the, the ancient beings of terror and chaos form, like, cities and... Yeah, they're not. They're not just. Stuff. They're not just monsters and beasts. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, uh, Rulia is the the ancient city where Cthulhu lies dreaming. Mm. Basically, is like resting spot. And an earthquake has had pushed it above the waves, so the sailors uh, get on shore. They climb up these steps, and I, I do really like the way the architecture is described. Uh, they describe... They, they He does a good job of describing a city with abnormal geometry. Yeah. Of painting a picture of, like, something that's really out there. Yeah, like a strange greenish-blue marble with gold flecks that matches no known... Like, nothing that the... The sailors have ever it's seen like it's before. like creating creating that sense of unease even in the architecture. Yeah. And surfaces and angles that change or like appear different 
on second glance, like where structures that would normally only be, put, be possible in dreams or optical illusions form a full basis of how the buildings are put together. Yeah. yeah I like that. And yeah, then they cool. open like a door. It's not even locked, and it, it, like a few humans can just open the door, and Cthulhu just like gets out. Oh. <laughs> and, he, and he sort of like, he chases them and he goes, Aah! And he just he chases them down the steps, and they they like trip and fall. Uh, another thing with the architecture, at one point he describes how a guy fell onto a slope, but instead of sliding down, he slid up it. Uh. <laughs> back back towards Cthulhu, which I thought was like oddly funny, in like a really macabre way. It does sound like a comedy sketch sort of thing, yeah. God, that would be so good though. Can you imagine like a a comedy <laughs> series of like two vloggers exploring <laughs> the the ancient ruins of like the of Rulier or like uh just going around like, oh my god, dude, dude. Like the super Look over at, oh reactions, my god. yeah. It's, it's the great one, Cthulhu, oh my god, guys, smash like. You got them fucking smash. super over the top thumbnails and everything. Yeah, like this Cthulhu pogging in a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so good. Oh, that would be, that would be such a good series. <laughs> um, I digress. Uh, yeah, so... Cthulhu, a couple of them make it back to the boat. Yeah. And they, and they, they book How it. How many of them missed left? Oh. There's uh, two left on the boat. Uh, at this point. Um, and they book it away. Yeah. But Cthulhu just like wades through the ocean after them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> and they kite him. They <laughs> kite him like it's a fucking boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> in like a game and eventually they like shoot him with like a cannon and he falls over backwards stumble stutters back down the hole into Rulier and the door shuts he like trips over and it's so anticlimactic that they take out the the great old one Cthulhu with a fucking cannon <laughs> yeah they don't, they don't use some like ancient ritual or like dark magic. No, they or... just they just smack him in the face with a cannon, and he falls over, and he just so happens to fall directly into the place where he was imprisoned. And then the door just shuts automatically. Yes, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> that is pretty silly. And that's sort of why I can't take the Call of Cthulhu seriously anymore because I actually read it. <laughs> and I guess you were really excited goofy. to read it as well, and you were like, oh. I was, I was, I was expecting something really like cool. But it, I it guess it's cool just like parts, but I, I just... gotta say I guess it's just like it got so popular because the like mythology behind Cthulhu is so cool. Yeah. The like what you can do the the expansive world behind it. But yes, pretty much everyone except Lovecraft has used Cthulhu. Everyone else has used Cthulhu better than Lovecraft did in the yeah. story. They like portray him as this unstoppable force that must never be unleashed. I mean, to be fair, even South Park. The world. It seems like South Park even portrayed him better. Yeah, they they portray it as this unstoppable force that <laughs> isn't gonna get fucking decked by a cannon and fall over and take a nap. <laughs> the Whisperer in Darkness, in my opinion, is a lot better because it um. Uh, it's still mostly through the perspective of the main character reading things. Is that like is that like a big mainstay for him or something? He really seems to like the the idea of characters like I've not read something I think so far that is written in present tense. All oh, right, okay. It's all written past tense as like a character recounting what has happened to them. Yeah. I suppose that can be a better way of telling the story, though. Yeah, like... And it means that characters are always talking about 
oh, if I had known then what I know now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And that does work. That does work. I'm not, like, dissing that style because that's a perfectly valid way to write a book. But, um, so The Whisperer in Darkness is written that way. It's past tense with a character recounting something that has happened to him and recounting a... But instead of reading something that had nothing to do with him, it's a part of a direct, like, letter correspondence with a character who is undergoing these yeah. situations and actively trying to get the main character involved. And there is a feeling of at least some amount of risk. Yeah, which... It... it I don't know, that just makes it feel a lot better to me than... Yeah, I kind of just agree. reading letters. Uh, that weren't addressed to you. There's more of a connection. The main sort of thing. Yeah, the main character is this professor of folklore, and after an earthquake, there were strange bodies seen in the river that match ancient legends about um whatever the fuck, ancient legends about this or that, and creatures from space, and it looked just like one of the things described in the legends, and he's like been called in to tell people that's stupid. <laughs> uh, and he starts up an email correspondence uh, not an email, fucking hell this is like the <laughs> 1920s, it wasn't a fucking email he starts up a, a letter correspondence listen, uh, I'm a young I'm a young man let's read through these ultras go for it <laughs> uh, change charge to a powerful hyper dash that costs rads to use extra fee increases range gamma guts increases damage, the robot increases birth Enemies don't attack until multiple enemies have died. That's pretty good. Um, better charge, charge and deflect enemy projectiles. Corpses float, corpse cl uh, collision uh, can drop, can cause blood explosions. Everything that dies into a sheep, that's just awesome. Anyways, carry on. Yeah, but he like... There's... So much happens, basically, that... Yeah. The guy, the, the Mr. Ackley, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, actually. All I can say is, like, if, you, if you're at all intrigued by Lovecraftian horror stuff, I would recommend reading The Whisperer in Darkness. I got a book out of my local library, but... Uh, I can't remember the last time like, I went all to of the library. All of Lovecraft's stuff is available for free online yeah. because it's fucking ancient. It'd be like asking who has the copyrights for uh, Homer's Iliad. It was Homer who did the Iliad, wasn't it? I have no idea. I'm going to sound really stupid if I'm wrong, because that's like a major piece of history. Yes, yes, I am correct. It was Homer. I have no idea what you're talking about. Homer is a, a, a ancient Greek something. I can't remember if it's playwright or philosopher. He's I like have the heard only of him two. before, yeah. Yeah, and the Iliad is a famous poem. I have not heard of the Iliad before. I did read it in school years ago, but I still like remember it being really fucking boring. I mean, if you had to read it in school, it was definitely boring. Inverted mom. Like, why are all the books you have to read in school fucking terrible? I know. Like, I had to read Animal Farm. And Animal Farm, I'll admit, it wasn't bad. But it also wasn't something I would ever have read if I had not been required to read it. Yeah. Because it was kind of boring. Uh, we were, oh. What did we read? We read Off Mice and Men. I've never read that one. That was pretty boring, too. My, um, at the very least, I say at the very least, my English teacher, um, made us read things that weren't necessarily ancient and boring, they were modern and boring a lot of the time. Ah. Because she had a really soft spot for, uh, young adult novels. Oh, God. So, she made us read a lot of, like, not very good young adult fiction. <laughs> Did y'all, was there not like a syllabus that your teachers had to stick to? 
I don't think my school was like in any way organized. Have I told you about the shit they got up to there? No. My um one year my English teacher, a different one. Like I I had this one English teacher that I tried to be in her class as much as I could every year because she was just a genuinely nice person and even if she made us read shitty young adult fiction, she was nice about it. Yeah. And she was uh, just like a, a fun person like even if I found the work boring I would always much rather put up with it because she was a good teacher yeah, yeah, yeah. she made the lessons more enjoyable yeah and I will say at the very least reading books with modern sentence structure is easier <laughs> but uh, I did, one year I had a different English teacher who was a fucking wacko uh, we had to one so to give context, for an assignment one year, we had to write a, a short fiction story about someone uh, in the class. What? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. I know. But over half the class wrote stories about the teacher doing something fucking wacko. Like, mine, I think, was about her going and, like, being a like, like, it was a fake news article about her being arrested for climbing a tree and howling at the moon. <laughs> and that's just, like, I think she was a little bit upset by that. Because she didn't seem to understand where everyone would say such things about her. <laughs> but she, at one point... Okay, she was a conspiracy sort of oh, woman. God. We had a few teachers like that. At one point, she stopped the um, lesson to ask, like, how would how would these cultures all across the globe all build pyramids? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's like, no, I think that just means that pyramids are a really good way to stop rocks for, from falling down. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, uh, turns out a triangle is just a pretty solid structure. That's about it. Yeah. Um, but she she was big on the like ancient she was big on ancient aliens and stuff and she would sometimes if people prompted her she, I, I don't think she'd she like to do a whole up. lesson on just talking about not, her not conspiracy a, theories. We had not a, teach a whole like lesson, but she would hijack the lesson for stretches of time to just go off. I gotta say and we had a teacher like that. She was also the sort of teacher who didn't seem to understand that she wasn't our friends our friend like the other teacher i talked about the one that i actually liked she was friendly with the students in like a normal way yeah in like yeah. a i'm your i'm your teacher you're my student but you know that doesn't mean i'm gonna disrespect you or look down on you so i'm gonna treat uh, you I'm like gonna... adults or treat you like people yeah th like this this wacko there's a nut job it's like hey we're all friends here right hello fellow kids kind of woman. She was also a little racist. Lovely. Add that into the mixing pot. Um, just a, like a little, she, she would say really sus stuff. Like never, like never like super direct racism, but she would say really quite an uncomfortable things about Maori people, which is uh, the ethnic minority in yeah. New Zealand. Um, and she would be like, whenever, when the whole class would go quiet and just look at her, she was like, "No, it's okay. I, I'm like, I'm like, ten percent, yeah. I'm like, one fifth of uh, related or whatever, yeah." And it's like, at one point, this like kid who was from uh, Ireland, actually, it was like pasty as fuck, like white, like, like uh, Canon A4 white paper from. Yeah fucking the stationery store pasty got up walked right up to the teacher held his arm out next to hers and pointed out how he had darker skin than she did <laughs> which was i'm not quite sure if she knew how to respond to that but she didn't say anything after that good <laughs> that's pretty bad right? Yeah, good on ya. I think his name was Finn. I don't remember. I've repressed those days. <laughs> School is gone. Oh yeah, my college was fucking stupid. Like, uh... 
God, what else happened? Yeah, I found it weird that you didn't have like a syllabus at school. Like there was like like so many people did off mice and men because you had to during the time that I was at school. So basically everyone around the UK from anywhere all did off mice and men because you had to at that time. I don't know what my school was on at the time. It was it was I think what they were on was money laundering, honestly. <laughs> you know that old trope of like, oh, this is, a, this is a high school movie and the art department doesn't have any money because they're all giving it to the football team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ancient trope. My school was kind of like that, except the money didn't go to the football team either. It just sort of it just kind of and it just kind of disappeared. Yeah, which is why uh, I'm pretty sure everyone who went there thinks they were engaged in some form of like embezzlement. <laughs> yeah. The art department, the art department was like completely running on like fumes and so was the sports department and so <laughs> was every other department. At the very least there was equality. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was poor together. Yeah. Did you go to a school with houses? Kind of. Go on, tell me, tell me. So we we had um, our... I can't remember what they were even called now. But we had like our starting groups or whatever they were called. What the hell are they called? Prefab groups, I think they were called. Which were like your like your starting group of people that you always started the day with and did register with. Um, and then we had sets, which was, were essentially what you'd call houses. Which was essentially like broken down into like essentially smart kids and dumb kids <laughs> it really was right it just split everyone um, up into um into classes of like how well they were doing ours wasn't like that um when i tell an american about this any american i the response i universally get is oh like harry potter <laughs> yeah i gotta say i've had people say that before when i've told them about our school I they think it's like a Harry Potter sort of house. Which, I mean, it kind of is, but not in the way but, that it is yeah, in Harry at Potter. The, at the same time, ours was too close to Harry Potter for comfort, I'm going to say. Oh, was I it? Think they, I think they stole the idea. Because <laughs> they desperately wanted any form of, like... They desperately wanted any form of ghoul identity, I guess. They wanted, like, a feeling of camaraderie and a feeling yeah. of like people banding together but the problem was that nobody wanted to be there and nobody liked the school <laughs> so it was it just sort of fell flat so we had we each had a, a house each house had an official name there were four houses each house had an official name an official color an official song and an official animal mascot animal mascot what the fuck? Not like, why? not like a live animal. It was like a symbol. Yeah. So like, each one would have like a crest, I guess you'd call it, with that depicted an animal. Still, that's weird. Yeah, I. It, it was one of those places that really wasn't very like prestigious. In fact, it's a a shithole. But it wanted to convince parents that it was. That's a very surefire way to do it. Yeah. So there was the, I'm not going to name them, I, honestly this could probably, I, I'm going to, this is giving away enough information to dox the school anyway, but ah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest, this school takes in uh, people from, act actually, no, I can actually, I can actually mention it, because the school takes in people from a pretty wide area, because it's the only, uh, I guess you college slash to clarify for any Americans uh, high school in the area that's Wait, do you go high school college? Yes. What? <laughs> do I you not? No. I think I swear I've told you about this before. No we have like we have primary school, secondary school, which is high school, and then college and then university. So Oh, we have primary school, secondary school, college, and university. But so secondary, secondary school, secondary, 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 secondary school, school is, is not. Secondary school is, uh, is it? 
Yes. Have I been Sec using the second? Terminal? You have. Secondary school is high school. Hold on. Hold college on. is college. Secondary school is high school. And unless it's just different in New Zealand, but secondary school secondary... is high school. What the fuck? Is it, have you just checked and you're wrong? <laughs> no, it. <laughs> no, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold shattered on. your worldview. Hold on. Okay, so no, I've, I've looked into it. We call secondary school. High school and college are the same thing over here. Oh, uh, okay. So we call secondary school college. I got a bit confused there because I could have sworn I wasn't using it wrong, and I guess I am using it wrong if we're going off uh, UK vernacular, but we're not, so fuck. But New Zealand just is like UK, but. It's not. Different. It's it not. Basically is. Come on now. It's not. You have it's our not. It's not. We have your queen and we're not giving her back, but it's more like a cuckoldry situation. We're taking your queen and all you can do is cry about it, okay, little cucky? I don't really care. You can so, have the queen. She doesn't do anything anyways. Um... So... <laughs> I don't know where... I completely derailed my own thoughts. Uh... Oh god. Where was I? Oh yeah. So... College, high school, secondary school, the same thing. Yeah. And... Uh, mine is the only college in, like, the whole region, so it takes in people from a bunch of different towns in the region. So, I don't think it's that big of a deal if people somehow reverse engineer it. But... So... I gotta look at the names because I don't remember the names specifically. Super change all. Hey, hey, don't. Okay. Oh god. So the um. The house deans. Each house has a dean. Yeah. Who's that's, sort that's of that's weird for everyone to for each one to have a dean as well. I'm looking it up. There's like there's four deans for a one for each house, and on the website, one of the guys looks completely normal. He just looks scared, and the other three look like like skinwalkers, mm. like demons in human skin. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> Okay, no. Um. But yeah, there was. But wait. This website is so badly formatted. Jesus Christ, there's just a huge blank space of nothing on the page. <laughs> nice. So each house is named after a river. That's even weird. There was, there was a uh, Wairau, which I think was blue, maybe? I don't remember. There was Awateri, which I think was yellow. There was Waihopa, which was red, and Opawa, which was black. And then I think, no, okay, it was, it was green, yellow, red, black. Yeah, I remember more now. It was green, yellow, red, black. So there was... So, Wairau was green. Awateri was... Awateri was yellow. Waihopa was red. And Opawa was black. And... Wairau... Green had the mascot of a stag oh. on their crest. <laughs> like, very generic, classic, medieval crest. So each house had separate assemblies, right? Like, there would be a whole school assembly where everyone from every house gets into the hall together and, and hears yeah. stuff. 
but to organ but to like spread it out and make sure that the teachers weren't overworked they would prefer to do house assemblies where it's just one house at a time which was a good idea i'm not gonna fault them that was a decent way of organizing it this is still really weird this is not how schools work anywhere else <laughs> I don't think it's how schools work anywhere else in the country either, but... Yeah, I'm gonna say this is really bizarre. They would... Each house had their own thing... Yeah. ...that they would do at these assemblies. And the worst part is that the, the thing was typically decided more by the, the prefect oh, than, than by the, uh, the actual teachers or the deans. That so, seems dangerous. So it led to some really fucking insane shit. Like, um, Awatere, uh, which was yellow, had the mascot of a, of a lion. And each house had their own thing that they would do to honor, like, a student of the month sort of thing. Yeah. Awatere would, in keeping with their lion theme, would play whatever that song is from The Lion King, <laughs> have a student come up on stage and would put face paint on them. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. This is like. In front of the, in this is, in front this is like of the cult entire stuff. house. This is like cult stuff. We'll, we'll get to that. Oh, God. Trust me, we will get to that. Um. Why now? had a crown. It was a bicycle helmet, a green bicycle helmet, with <laughs> fake antlers glued on that they would crown the student with. Oh God. In a crowning ceremony. <laughs> this is nuts. Why hope I which was red and had the mascot of a wolf and was pretty much universally considered to be the worst house the Slytherin by house. anyone who cared. Not not like Slytherin. Uh, it wasn't like you can't trust for someone from Wai Hopai because it like the, the houses weren't chosen on anything but like random. Like, they would just like basically roll a dice and whatever house you landed in, you landed in. It wasn't based on anything. So there was no like characteristic profile you could make of Oh, someone from White Hope Eyes like this. It's just nonsense. Yeah. But the um Oh god. The <laughs> White Hope I read with a wolf. And they would lose pretty much every house competition. So people would call them White Hopeless. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't know what they did, because clearly it was not interesting enough for anyone to actually talk about it. <laughs> and then there was Opawa, the Black House, which is the one I was in. And it... I don't know if it just seems like the strangest one to me because I was in it, or what, but... Remember how I said that every house had an animal mascot? Yeah. That's not entirely true. Waidao had a stag, Awateri had a lion, I hope I had a wolf, and Opawa had a human skull. <laughs> what? You heard me. A human skull. This is, um... Yeah, this is... This is insane. They had to... They did eventually change it, but even when they changed it, it was like the weirdest choice. They changed it to an orca whale. <laughs> That's still not great. And they... They would like... They had these little like... This uh, cheap bottom of the barrel orca trophy that they would hand out to the... Uh, student of the month. That's not the interesting part. The interesting part is how they would handle assemblies. I want you to picture, right? All the students are hassled into the hall. They all take a seat. They're talking amongst themselves. And then all the lights go out. 
Everyone goes quiet. The doors at the back of the hall open. And a long procession of figures in black hooded robes holding candles walk up the central aisle of the hall. What the fuck was going on? They make their way onto the stage and pull out a black throne with spikes on it. This is bizarre. One of the figures takes a seat on the throne, the others take a seat on other chairs. They turn off the candles, which are electric because normal <laughs> candles would be a fire hazard. And one of them steps up to the podium, everyone takes off their hoods, the lights turn on and the assembly just continues as, a, as if nothing happened. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? That was a real thing that they just hit us with out of the fucking blue. Did everyone lose their shit? Everyone, like, was so confused afterwards. I don't even think at the time anyone found it funny, they just found it fucking weird. <laughs> that is so bizarre. What the hell? Yeah, and they did this multiple times. I don't think they do it anymore because I think someone complained and a, like a parent complained that hey, my child makes it sound like you're running a cult. Could you stop? Yeah, my my child has started sacrificing. He said my child sacrificed our pets to the devil. Could you please uh, <laughs> stop? My God. Anyhow, I but think yeah, we're going to leave the episode there because we are at like an hour now. <laughs> yeah, that was also, a good one. At one point, they, they rickrolled us in an official assembly. Oh my god, lovely. <laughs> but yeah, that was my uh, that was my schooling experience. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, you think? What Why do hell? you think I think it was like money laundering? <laughs> yeah, it sounds shit. like it. They had no idea what was going on. Right, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this. This was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.